turned our focus to the 1964 Epiphone Riviera, which has a very interesting history. After Gibson acquired Epiphone in 1957, the company began to focus production on thin-line electrics with models such as the Sheridan, the Riviera, and the Casino models. When the Beatles started using the, the Casino in the early 60s, Epiphone's production soared. Now this 1964 Sunburst Riviera is typical Epiphone. It has the smaller mini humbucker pickups and Epiphone's distinctive tailpiece. This is known as the Frequencator unit. The tailpiece is distinct because the short fork deepens the tone and the long fork adds brilliance. A rosewood fingerboard and block pearl inlays are also classic Epiphone hallmarks. What a great looking and great sounding axe. Check it out on our website, guitarshoptv.com.